Hello everybody and welcome back to Mod the Gungeon, Expand the Gungeon, whatever you like to say. It's episode 99! 99. 99! Oh my god. And guess what? Guess what? Hard mode is ready for us to play after episode 100. So, we, that's exactly what we'll be doing. I think this save file that we're on right now, the, the one that we've been using for this playthrough, I know that we've not got everything unlocked, but I'm pretty sure that I'm just going to continue using this save file for one reason and one reason alone. Also, yeah, let's do this. Um, for one reason and one reason alone. For one, well, actually, I say one reason, mainly two reasons. The biggest reason is we have two deaths on this account, which means we'll get a really, really, really good look at how many times we die in hard mode, which is going to be interesting. Um, I want us to sort of keep a really good running total of how many deaths we have. And two, we don't have the finished gun unlocked, which is great because the finished gun is insanely overpowered on hard mode. And I don't want to make it too easy for ourselves. Oh my god. Lamut Configurum and the Ring of Oddly Specific Benefits. Nice. Nice. Ring of Oddly Specific Benefits is one that uh, Never Named made that I helped work on, kind of, giving some of the ideas for some of the prerequisites. There's some really interesting ones that you can get with it. Um, so, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, oh my god. Tell you what. Tell you what. Oh no. Ooh, okay. I was gonna stick with this one. I was gonna stick with this one, but this just won't be fun. I like Lamet. I do. But with that speed and that fire rate and that dodge roll, heck no, boy. I'm, I'm not gonna enjoy myself. This is episode 99. I wanna enjoy myself, friend. And did we just get turtle problem? We did. We got turtle problem. Um, damage is good. Yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can get down with this. And we started with bullet time as well, I think. Although our speed's horrendous again. Speed has to, like, I really wish. I know that uh, Apache, not Apache, sorry, uh, Kyle has kind of taken a leave of absence from modding recently. But I do wish that this uh, Francis would be updated a little bit so that he didn't give you quite so awful stats in certain aspects like i don't mind having bad damage i don't mind having bad fire rate but dodge roll and speed being this bad i don't mind them being worse than normal but being this bad oh it just makes the game painful to play oh hello oh hello Really nice to get table tech money this early on. Actually means we might get some benefit out of it. But yeah, we are going to be a slow boy for a little while here. One slow, slow boy. How did I miss all those shots? Come on now. Don't worry about it. Our turtles may have died, but they have not died in vain. Kind of a hard room. Kind of a hard room. There's so very many enemies. My god. Oh, this is like... I think this is one that I made that's like a wave-style combat room. Think you get a reward at the end, maybe? I can't remember now. I, th I Yeah, I think, I think this one is like one of the long rooms that you maybe get a reward at the end for. Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe it's just a long-ass room. Maybe it just feels longer because my speed is just terrible. I love the way that, that these enemies, like, just get demolished by these doors. Absolutely demolished. Ooh, yes, I'll open that straight away. The glacier, I'll take it. Be a decent boss killer for now, at least. Do -do 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 -do. Love the music in here. Do -do 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 a extra blank as well for me. Such a cool little Easter egg room. Oh, hello. 
You tried to bop me, but you couldn't quite bop the bop. Oh, God. Oh, I'm having to, like, battle with my own... Just everything. Just fight against this terrible speed. It feels so disgusting. <laughs> we are. Jetpack would definitely alleviate our, uh, our problems. But carefully here... With the Bominomicon. Let's let's go and have a look what Blight Shells and Bominomicon do exactly. Because there's two cool items here that we could maybe maybe have some fun with. Um mods. There it is. Need to go into Into the Breach. Which is where's Into the Breach? I don't think Into the Breach has been updated in a little while, so it might take me a little bit to find it. There you go. Two weeks ago. Right. Let's have a look. So we're looking for the Bominomicon and Blight Shell. So they should both be pretty close to each other. The Blight Shell gives a random shotgun and increases curse by one every floor. Does that mean it increases, increases curse by one every floor permanently? Or just one? Or, and then the Bominomicon is an active at B tier. Spawns a bomb at the feet of every enemy in the room plus one curse while held. So, by the sounds of it, Blight Shells is the better one for us. Gives a random shotgun. It didn't. Um, maybe it only gives it at the start of each floor. Either way, I'm, I'm guessing it just means there's one curse attached to the shotgun, not that you get one curse every floor, because otherwise that would be pretty annoying. Admittedly. That shotgun... That shotgun guy just died straight away. Is that meant to happen with blight shells? I don't know what's going on here. No, because that guy that, that guy didn't die. Oh, maybe he spawned on our turtles, our turtle problems. I'm gonna do slow-mo just so I can get across here a little easier. Take care of you before the slow-mo's out. Should have enough to kill this guy before he shoots again. Yes, we do. Probably will open out other chests as well, you know? Like, straight away. Unless it's, like, a terrible chest. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. Actually, come into our turtles. Yeah, turtles do insane contact damage. So we can use those to do a bit of extra damage for us. Come on, my turtly boy. Please walk faster. Got him. Now the question is, guys, for hard mode, should I use Francis exclusively or not use him at all? Let's just open it. Heart container, really trash, not worth it at all. I've not really been going to the Oubliette and Jungle recently, but I think I'm okay with that. Thank you, Glass Guan. I'm just gonna buy a key. I was thinking of buying the Bominomicon, but I'd rather be safe with my curse. It's already at um, 2.5. So this should, have, this should do a decent job of killing this guy. It does decent damage. It has an explosive bit, it freezes. I remember when this used to be like one of the best boss killers in the game, and they upped its tier and made it worse. Like, not, they didn't make it worse by upping its tier. They upped its tier and nerfed the gun. <laughs> and also they, they nerfed it slightly by changing how explosions worked as well. Before, explosions would always destroy, um, would always destroy bullets, and then they changed it so they only do sometimes. There's like a cap to how many you can destroy. Before you could like pretty much soft lock a boss. Ooh, one moment. We got the hyper light blaster again, which we've been getting an insane amount recently. And um, we got ourselves another key. Yeah, we've been getting the hyper light blaster a lot recently, and I don't really know why. I got it on the podcast and I got it on a previous episode recently after talking about how little I have had it recently. So pretty happy to have that. Head down to the next floor. We do have two keys, but I'm fine to just carry on as we go. Carry on going.
I don't need to go to the extra floors. I don't feel the need. So we got mass shotgun and we gained uh, a single curse, yeah. So we'll have to see coming onto the next floor. Because I'm guessing... So, one, so there's, there's two ways this could work. Either it will give us another shotgun on the next stage and give us another one curse, or it will take the mass shotgun away from us, give us a new shotgun, and just keep us having the extra one curse, but don't give us any more curse on top of the one curse. That's how I'm hoping it works. But I, 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 can't, I kind of actually have a feeling now that it's going to give us another shotgun, so another gun, and just keep increasing our curse, which is kind of bad, really. And it, it makes me happy we didn't go to extra floors. We are. Got him. Get that range just right. Nice, nice. We'll just check in our shop real quick. We don't have much money right now, so can't buy anything off the bat, but nice to know. Ooh, melted rock. Also, there's the uh, the hyper light gun there, which we definitely want because that'll synergize with this bad boy, the hyper light blaster. So we kind of want to buy that if possible. I can't remember what the synergy exactly does, but I know it makes it better. And then we go, got an extra key as well. Love seeing that. You know what I hate to see? When I accidentally miss a shot with my Hyper Light Blaster. Makes me cry every time. Hey, drum clip. It's gonna help out. It's gonna help out a lot. Oopsie, I didn't actually go to that room then. I want to explore it just in case we have a long. Map man will be angry if we don't. I do not want to anger the map man. Got him. Who's buffing you? There you are, sir. Wow, these guys are a bit tanky. A little bit tanky than I was think thinking. Thought one shot and you'd be done. Well, two shots should be done, but no. It's three. I got that key kid just as he was running away. Kind of skipping me that easily. Gotcha. And we got another cube boy down here. Yep. And Lead Maiden. That. Okay, four shots to kill him. Wowee. We really should be flipping tables as much as we can for that extra dollar dollar. It's not exactly much, but it's worth having nonetheless. There's two shots for you, three shots for the blue ones. Oh my god, this gun. It's so good if you don't miss. I say that as I miss. It's too damn strong, boys. It's too damn strong. One, two, one, two, three. As soon as you start to learn how many bullets it takes for each enemy with your current damage, you can just go off. Absolutely off on one. Had too little speed to make that Tommy gun. Actually use this for a little bit because I do quite like this gun. I think it's pretty darn good. With the bigger mag size and the damage that we have right now, it's, it's going to be pretty reliable, I think. A pretty good boy for killing things. As far as killing things goes, it does that. Does that well. Got him. There's more. Ooh, I did get hit there. This slow speed is killing me. It's killing me. Give me a single speed up game and I'll be forever in your debt. Right, give me that bad boy. What? How much? 70... <laughs> I'm one off. God damn you, game. Right. Switch over to the, yeah, definitely switch over to this for the for the missiles. Oh, that was close. He did a bit of a tricky move there. Well, I love the way the music and everything slows down when you do this. It's allowing us to deal some good damage. 
I'm right. We should get one casing for this, right? We did. Good. Hey, we keep we keep getting this gun, and I love it. Ooh, we have a synergy with it, too. Oh, it's bullet time. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so me, the dumbass himself, thinks, ah, this is a gun that has a literal clock on it. And we have an item that has a literal clock on it. That's obviously the synergy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't make sense. I'm going to go see what that synergy does real quick. Um... Spencer, we need to find the guns, don't we? Phaser, Fallout, Tesla, Stake Launcher, um, a rock, skeleton, incremental, synergy with drum clip slash ammo belt, doubles the damage of incremental. Sounds fucking good, but I can't believe the gun that has a literal clock on it doesn't have a synergy with bullet time. <laughs> what is this world? Right, give me this. Simply for the synergy. I can't actually remember what synergy this does anyway, anyway so I'm going to go check that as well. Uh, Gungeon. No. Enter the Gungeon wiki. I want to keep up to date and know what, know, what I'm, know what I'm dealing with. If only the Gungeon wiki would load faster. Hyper Light Blaster. Um, hard Light... If the player also has a light gun, Hyperlight Blaster's magazine and maximum ammo is increased by 50% and it gains homing. Light gun gains a chance to regenerate one or two ammo when hitting enemies. So both guns get a buff. So it adds homing to it basically and gives it a bigger magazine size. All in all, pretty darn good. Alright, let's head on. On 18 shots now. And yeah, like I said, it makes the other gun better as well. And the incremental got better. But yeah, I still can't believe that. I'm like, oh yeah, obvious. It's, it's super obvious what the uh, synergies with here. Both of them have a clock on them. Makes so much sense. So let's let's see. Okay, so so this item's kind of trash. It just gives you curse every floor. Pro probably gonna drop it once we get to like six curse. Well, I, I suppose no. I say it's kind of trash. It's only kind of trash if you keep it too long, and it can give you bad shotguns, but honestly, it's pretty good if you know when to, like, let go. If you know when to say no to it and throw it away, then it's actually a pretty good item, but I think to keep it, it's kind of trash, because you could get really bad shotguns. But on the flip side, you could also get really good shotguns, so there's also that. Yeah, this should really have some sort of synergy with the, uh, with bullet time. It just makes sense. But this thing having double damage is kind of insane. This thing's, this thing's rocking. Absolutely rocking. For those of you that don't know, the lower we get into the magazine, the more damage this thing does. That's why the drum clip synergy. But well, look at that. Beautiful damage. Beautiful damage. Ah, ah, careful turtles. My boys, my family. Got him. Yeah, I think it's a super cool weapon. I like it a lot. I like the sprite for it too. I think it's sprited really well. Good shit, my dude. Yeah, once you get down to about like half of the magazine, it starts to just absolutely shred. Uh, we'll probably take that for this, yeah. Go through ammo pretty quickly. It has a pretty decent fire rate, and we have a fire rate increase by 17%, so. Ow. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Ooh, the bulletkin gun. If we can afford that, we'll take it. Got him. Ah. Flip the tables for more money. Give me your fucking money. Hello, Spectral Cat. Would you like to meet your maker? A clock gun. Got him. Not really been using bullet time all that much, to be honest, but I don't think that's like a terrible misplay. <laughs> 
I don't think we're losing out on too much utility there. Clock gun's kind of just, uh, not clock gun, the uh, bullet time's kind of just there. Okay, so we're starting to get jammed enemies now. Our first one. To be honest, with this gun, they go down very, very quickly, so it's not a major issue. Just gotta remember not to reload. Um, I think this is... We heal whenever we kill a boss. If I remember correctly. Look at that, one bullet kill. Towards the end of the magazine, one bullet kills. Goes from like a four bullet kill, five bullet kill, to a one bullet kill by the end of the magazine. That's an insane improvement. Like almost four times in damage, I think. Okay, I need to get to our next chest, I think, still. One of my evil, evil rooms. So it's actually not all that hard. You just got to be careful because there is a lot of oil. Basically, what happens in this room is the turrets destroy all the oil barrels, lay oil all over the floor. Then the colas run around and light all the oil up. So you just got to play it safe and not walk into the cola like I just did. And you should be fine. Do you know what? Fuck it. Wasn't really worth it. But I, I did it anyways. Uh, right, can we afford the gun yet? I think it was 78, wasn't it? No, 63. Okay, we're going to afford it. Nice. I like this gun quite a lot. But I am going to use the Hyperlight Blaster here, though. Because with Herming and its insane damage anyways, it's going to be good. Bad thing about bullet time, really, is when it speeds up again. It can kind of disorientate you. When it comes back to full speed. Sorry, turtles. I know you're sacrificing yourself for me. And I'm not really rewarding you for that fact, but... You just gotta chill for now. Daddy's working. Nice. Nice. Mega hand, blech. Mega hand, you're too good. You're too damn good at your job. Stop. Right, down we go with the bullet kin gun in hand. Let's see what shotgun we get here. We're going to be going up to 5.5 .5 curse. Think like this one and then the next one, then I'll drop it. See what shotgun we get. Please don't give me fucking blunderbuss. It's already given me the elephant gun, which isn't exactly the best haul that you could imagine. It's an interesting idea for an item, though. Give me Pulse Cannon. Which we've got a synergy with. Not terrible. But honestly, not really worth one curse. Yeah, to be, to be honest, not really worth one curse. I think we've been spoilt by the damage of the incremental. This thing's just not really cutting it for us. Look at that. Three, four shots to kill this guy. I'm firing whole ass bulletkins. This is not the damage I expected. Get him. Get him. Okay, they're doing okay now. They're doing a little better. Not the best I've ever seen, but better. Ah. You should be dead right, yep. Mini boss time. Probably just go with this bad boy again. Oh yeah, I can feel the herming. It's pretty strong. You're gonna die so quick, dude. Like, like I'd say like one more magazine, you're dead. Almost exactly one more magazine. We got a 50 casing as well, which is nice. Uh, I will top up ammo on the uh, not the incremental actually. Guess we'll top it on this. 
And I'll just open this up. Zombie bullets. Zombie bullets. You'll love to see them. We got ourselves a shrine room. Yeah, blood fountain. No one cares about you, sorry. Okay, that uh, that rat just suicide bombed me. Ran into me and insta fucking blew up. Oh, this this gun. It's so spicy. It's so spicy, my dudes. It's so spicy. One bullet kill. Pow, 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 pow. What? The dodge of the century. Oh yes. Amazing. Absolutely love it. Get him, turts. This is doing so very well for us. So very well. This is a pleasant 99th episode. A 99. I am very happy with it. Got a decent amount of casings there. Oh, damn. Ah, ah, I made a mistake. I rolled into a wall. That's not how you're meant to play the game, guys. If anyone asks you, don't roll into the wall directly. Boom, boom. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's not how you roll away from things. Ooh, ooh, that Gungeoneer. He was like, do you know what? I'm going to spawn in right here. And the turtles were like, not on my watch, kid. Not in personal, kid. And they just fucking wrecked his shitter. Rubbed their turtle shells on his body until he died. It was beautiful. Whoop, 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 boom. More ammo for this bad boy. This thing will never die. No, no, no. Um, um, quick, 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 quick. No. Where? I did it. I did it. I did it. I did a thing. I was like, wait a minute, I do have a gun that fires water, kind of. Hey, we got... It's the double synergy. It's the synergy show. Oh my god. That deep scream that that guy just made during slow motion was petrifying. <laughs> I heard into his very soul. He just went... Bruh. I heard deep down into his soul, oh my god. Now that's a lot of poison. Okay, we've made a mistake here. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, just, just, just hold up a minute. Look at this. Ow! I'm taking too much damage. Sh spider! I'm trying to show the people. Look, that it moves as one entity. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Look. That's so strange. It moves as like one barrier. How very odd. Uh, not particularly good shop, to be fair. I will take your goodies, though. Your little treats. So, we know we've got this here. Um, let's go and buy a key. Thank you. And we'll grab that there. The science cannon. That's a beat sheet. A little beat sheet, to be honest. Makes funny noise, though. Oh, take the long and just horrible walk over here. Whoa. Oh, and then I have to cross a gap. You kidding me, game? Too much effort for me. There you go. All those tables get flippy flippied. Flippity flipped. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> it was gaining on me. Just in case we get another key here. Hey. What of ours? Oh, I'm tempted by it. 
I'm tempted by it, but we gotta go for Synergrace first. Synergies are always first. Hello, Synergrace. Synergrace, you cook. That wasn't at all what I wanted. War Vars it is then. 78. Oh my god. This game. It trolling me, guys. It trolling me. Right. Who you got for me? Little Miss, I'm so special because I can go ethereal. Ah. Oh. Having low speed in this phase right here is going to be kind of nightmare fuel. Right. Just chill, dude. Daddy, chill. Um, to get rid of all the skulls real quick. This shouldn't be too bad, especially with slow-mo. Okay, we should be fine for this attack as well. That attack always used to get me, but I, and I don't really know how because it's really not that hard. Oh. Fucking hell, dude. Did you have to? Oh, my God. And I got hit as well. Fuck's sake, dude. By far my worst flawless one, this guy. This guy right here. The JK. Nope. Oh, here's a JK. Knew it. Knew it. We got exactly enough, though, I think. War Vars, here I come. Weaponized pottery. And we shall sell some stuff. That'll do. Just for a bit of extra doll hairs. Take down to the next floor. Because normally, you guys know, Blacksmith Shop always has something a little spicy in it. A little spicy. So I think we'll take it. I think we'll try and get it. I mean, sometimes it's weird. Blacksmith Shops are always, like, up and down. Sometimes it's amazing. Other times it's terrible. You gave me Casey. What the fuck? I mean, technically it's a shotgun, I guess. But not fucking really. Right. Bye, Blight Shells. You've been terrible to me. You've not been very good at all. Probably won't pick you up again. I, I do realize that it can be really good. There's, there's potential for it to be really good. Because it can give you S tier shotguns and A tier shotguns. But it didn't. <laughs> it just gave me a lot of cares for weapons I'm never going to use. Okay, so this is going to be kind of a nightmare room. My turtle just saved the shit out of me right there. Thanks again, turtley boy. Nice. Taking care of some of them guys. Taking care of you. Taking care of business, more like. So we don't have any keys right now as well, which is kind of a downside right, right for us. Um, Hello. Okay, that room went surprisingly well. I did not feel super confident about that, and that went well. Oh my god, the death sounds with slow-mo are kind of terrifying. Please don't teleport all the way over there. You piece of garbage. Go on, Tails. Have a little ride on the moving platform. They're all just chilling on there. They're like, this is our home now. This is one trap I've never really understood. These, these little valves that you get everywhere that spew out fire. Who... Who's ever been hit by these? Like, in, they're only in like five rooms. They seem really like weird. But then again, Gungeon's always like that. It's like, yeah, so we've, uh, we've made an entirely new system. A really cool new effect, a really cool new thing, we've added it to one item, and one item only. Hammer. 
It's not time. Could you stop? Yeah, Gungeon's weird like that. It really likes to put an enormous amount of effort into making cool effects or cool things that only are ever used like once in the entire game and it kind of doesn't make much sense. Right, you're gonna get bibbity bopped. Oh, hello. Uh, rocket powered bullets is probably the our best bet here, I think. That's a lot of keys as well. To be honest, the keys might have been better if we get a black chest. But rocket powered bullets is good. I like the bullet speed and obviously the damage up. And the light increase to fire rate. Which is something that not many people know that rocket powered bullets do does, because I didn't know for a while. Um, but yes, it, it is indeed a very slight, like 10% fire rate up. Or 15%, I think, maybe. I think it's 15%. Which is it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <gasps> A key and ammo. I can use both of those. I just love how sustained fire on one enemy from a full mag just eventually results in you doing so much damage that they just have to die. <laughs> I'm gonna say, please don't shoot. Oh, jammed guy. Thank you, Turts. The turtle crew just saved me. Thank you, my Turts. So there is a spider. There he is. This room can be pretty tough. I made it that way on purpose because I'm evil. Mainly because of this guy, he spawns really far back, and he's kind of hard to hit. This one's obviously easy, but the one back, the one at the back, he spawns really far away. Kind of off screen. Hey, hey! We got the gun shark and with the synergy for the mega shark. This is such a cool weapon. This is a never named weapon. I've been wanting to get this for so long. So if we just if we just quickly drop this, you can see this is what it looks like normally. And then it turns into the big shark boy. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. And it's like it's basically just a fucking minigun. Like an absolute bullet hose. But, especially with rocket-powered bullets, it's going to be ace. Got him. Uh, uh, bullet time messed up the spawns. Oh no, bullet time. If you do- if bullet time ends at the wrong time, the game just is like, what? Wait a minute. How'd you do that? <laughs> This thing has a shit ton of ammo as well with the synergy. I think it's specifically because of the synergy, but my god, it has a lot of ammo. So I think we can afford a key here. So we should go and get one. There's no way we're affording broccoli, so I'm not worried about that. Ring of Ethereal Form? I'll take. Ring of Ethereal Form's really good. Right, so for our boss, I think we just want to carry on with the method we've been going with, which is this bad boy. Uh, and then we're going to be using Bullet Shark to lay down bullets during Bullet Hell. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Bullet, mullet. Oh, someone needs to draw a bullet game with a mullet. That'd be great. I say that'd be great. It wouldn't really, would it? It'd be funny, though. Got him. No knives for you, boy. Oh, yeah, I just recently saw the video of Hard Mode Dragon. Oh, oh, that guy's thick. That guy's going to be a tough, tough fight. Got to remember we've got Ring of Ethereal Form. Ring of Ethereal Form is amazing, but also bad. It's really good because it gives you a long period of invincibility, and it's a pretty decent cooldown. But it's bad because it kind of just randomly ends, and you've got to pay really close attention, otherwise you end up getting hit. Did miss a bullet there. Unfortunate. 
Should be about dead now, though. I'd say one more magazine. Eey. Our Terps have survived a decent amount here, though. They've been doing well. This is where they go to die, though. Uh, also, you can't dodge roll while in ring of ethereal form, which for me at least, even though you don't need to because you're invincible, it's really off-putting not being able to dodge roll. So that, that can sometimes get me hit uh, when I exit it. Love it. Bullet shark, you absolute fucking bullet hose. Such a good, um, such a good gun, but also really, really good sprites too. I have to commend Mr. Never Named on this gun. The sprites are really good for it. He's made some top tier guns. Him and, him and Cell, actually, to, to be honest, a lot of the people that have made guns, him, Cell, and Retrash have all made some really top tier weapons. When, when weapons finally became sort of a viable thing for people to start creating, I was super happy to see some of my favourite developers start, mod developers start working on some of them. Because there's, yeah, there's just some really cool ones that are, that are really thematic for the game as well. Like, I feel like not many people, there is a few, but not many people, like, work outside of the realms of Gungeon's possibilities. A lot of people try to keep it sort of as on theme as they can, and I really appreciate that. I did get hit there, you're right, but my speed is low, so... Thank you. So this is our brother Alban room. I'm actually going to go invincible here just so we can go around and kill all of the buff daddies. There you go. I tried to blank there, and it didn't let me, but I'm kind of glad, because we just got healing. The cheese! Watch this, watch this. Take damage. Kill him, get a heal. Mutagen. Mutagen plus that room is a basically like five heals. The cheese. The absolute cheese of it. Also, the knockback on this gun. I did just see that shot grub shot there. Be careful on my way over here. It's going to be a bit of a pain. Do you know what? Fuck it. Just teleport. <laughs> we can teleport super far there. Skip a whole section. Don't do things I'm not comfortable with. Hey, I don't know. There must be something weird in the mod creation, that, uh, in room creation that I haven't really clocked onto yet. Or it might be a new feature in the new update that I haven't messed around with. But that room there, I know it's a default room, but sometimes that's a second wave and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know if there's a way to do that currently in the room creator. Kind of be an interesting thing to mess around with, though. Okay, let's ring the ethereal form here because I'm really not vibing with this guy. Where's that skeleton you've created? I heard the creation of him. He's back up. There he is. This thing. It's so good and it's so ammo efficient. Holy heck. As long as you, like, tap fire it and bear fire it. It does a great job. Of course. Of course. Ah, ah. I messed up with a jammed guy. Got him. Ooh, bit of armor as well. Spicy. I can get down with a little bit of armor. <clears throat> I love it when these guys roll into a pit. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks for playing. Got him. This is doing us so well. This is going to carry us through all of bullet hell, I'm pretty sure. Second wave? Yep, second wave. I think it's the synergy version that's really making it as good as it really is right now. But even still, I'm super happy with it, nonetheless. This is going to be a loop. Let's hop back around this way. I don't know why, but I so, like, so very rarely get this. So, you go through this room, then you make your way to the first three-prong room, where there's three different exits. And one of them's a loop, and the other one's the right way. This way is the right way, because you can tell this is going to loop back around. I always go through the loop. I never accidentally go the right way. There's no way of knowing, you just gotta guess. But, like, I never get it right. 
And I just don't get it. Never get it right. And usually, like, I just did there. Ring of Ethereal form. Deactivating over a pit. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah, that, that's where Ring of Ethereal form is really a pain in the ass. Where it deactivates over a pit. Because I went to try and roll over that pit. And I couldn't. So I pressed the button. Didn't realise I wasn't rolling. Ring of Ethereal form deactivated while I was over the pit. And just dropped me in it. And should be it, right? Nope. Another poopy one's in the mix. Poopy ones be gone. These, this gun's really good for taking out these guys. Okay, this is our last three prong. Guess right first time, maybe? That'd be good. Yeah, this, this is like such an ammo efficient gun. I'm loving it. Probably one of my favourite modded guns I've used in a while. It's really fun. No, do you know what? I'm gonna carry on with this. I was gonna I was gonna say no, this isn't the right way. I think it is. It's not. I've been trapped. Got him. I think that's it, right? No? Stop making small people. Right. This should be the right way. I'm in ethereal form it here. We might not be able to charge you up quick enough for the boss, but this room's always a little bit troubling for me. I always find this one a little bit tougher than the rest, just because of how quickly the second set of... Um, the pitchfork dudes spawn in. Wrong way again. Good, good. This should this should mean we have enough to charge up Ethereal before the boss again, though. There you go. Keep moving. Still have 2,000 bullets left. What the heck? Ow. Sir, that was certified rude. Certified rude dude right here. Oh, I'd love to get uh, a Robberos on this gun. I know it's already got a lot of ammo, but just literally hold down. Have it infinite ammo with a Robberos and just hold down the trigger. <laughs> right, into our boss fight. We're going we're gonna to use this thing and see how it does against bosses. Seems very, very good. Seems very, very good. Holy shit. My god, this seems amazing. This thing's a bit busted. What did we get this from again? Synergy chest? Or was it? No, it was an A tier chest, wasn't it? Something like that. I can't remember now, actually. Either way. Heck yeah. It's good. It's real good. Definitely going to be in the thumbnail. I know that for a fact. Ooh, one minute. Really itchy head. Worst time to get it, but happens to the best of us. Just like, it's so strong and it's so versatile and it's so ammo efficient. It's a room clearer. It's a boss killer. It's got the insane fire rate. It's just, oh my God, it's so good. 1337 ammo. Look at this. I am, I am tap shooting it because I don't want to hit DPS cap. Doesn't put my damage this way. Do we have a turtle survive as well? Oh, yes. What a run. What a fantastic run. That that gun just saved us at the end there. And it made the game a whole, lot, a whole hell of a lot funner. Super good work with that, uh, with that gun. Loved it. Well done. Oh, but there you go. 
Low speed the entire run, which was a bit of a big sad, but we, we, we made it. We did it. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this little bit of Gungeon, episode 99. Episode 100 is going to be the last of this series. I know we're going to try and finish the save file, but instead, we're going to move straight on to hard mode and have a whole hell of a lot more fun on hard mode. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But yeah, I hope you guys are excited for that, because I really am. There's going to be some crazy deaths, and I'm sure there'll be some really annoying deaths for some of my badly designed custom rooms, too. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.